Hey guys, in this video, I'll guide you through how to fix Adobe Premiere Pro low system memory. All right, so let's begin with the video. First of all, these errors typically stem from either excessive media cache or insufficient RAM allocated to the application. Fortunately, resolving these issues is relatively straightforward. Premiere Pro generates cached files from your media to improve performance. However, these cached files can accumulate over time, consuming a significant amount of memory storage. To prevent this buildup, regularly clearing your media cache is essential. To clear the cache, navigate to the Edit menu at the top of the screen, select Preferences, and then Media Cache. Click on the Delete button to remove all cached media files. After clearing the cache, restart the application to apply the changes, which should help mitigate memory-related problems. If the error persists, checking the RAM allocation for Premiere Pro is crucial. Adobe recommends allocating at least 8 GB of RAM to the application, but for optimal performance, 16 GB is preferred. To adjust the RAM allocation, go to the Memory tab in the Preferences menu. Decrease the RAM reserve for other applications, ensuring a minimum of 8 GB is available for Premiere Pro. If you have more RAM available, increase the allocation to 16 GB. Additionally, verify the total installed RAM on your system, ensuring it is at least 8 GB. If your system has less, consider upgrading your RAM to improve performance. Another effective strategy to address memory issues is to close unnecessary applications while using Premiere Pro. Background apps consume RAM, which can interfere with Premiere Pro's performance. Shutting down these applications can free up additional memory resources. Finally, deleting rendered files can also help resolve memory issues. Rendered files are stored in a dedicated folder and can accumulate over time, occupying significant storage space. To delete these files, go to the Sequence menu and select Delete Render Files. If the option is grayed out, it means there are no render files to delete. Removing unnecessary render files can reclaim storage space and alleviate memory issues. By following these steps, clearing the media cache, adjusting RAM allocation, closing unnecessary applications, and deleting rendered files, you can effectively manage and resolve low system memory errors in Adobe Premiere Pro, ensuring a smoother editing experience. So that's basically how to fix Adobe Premiere Pro low system memory. So that's all for this video. If you find it helpful, consider subscribing and giving this big thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.